Welcome back to another video. This is code forces round 916 D3 and we're gonna solve uh, the sixth problem E2 games with marbles. So there is an even problem of the same problem but the constraints are different. We'll straight away go ahead and try to solve this. So uh, like uh, we have our two players here Alice and Bob. Each of them have a set of marbles okay. So when Alice has received A1 marbles of color 1, A2 marbles of color 2 and AN marbles of color n. So A1, uh, so colors represent basically the index. After some discussion, uh, Alice and Bob came up with the following game. So both of the players take turns, uh, take turns, starting with Alice. So on their turn, a player chooses color A such that both players have at least one marble of that color. The player then discards one marble of color I and their opponent also discards all the marbles of that color. So the game will end when there is no color I such that both players have at least one marble of the color. The score in the game is the difference between number of marbles uh, Alice has and the number of marbles Bob has at the end. In above words, uh, at the end we have to calculate the score like A minus B where A is the number of marbles Alice have and B is the total number of marbles uh, Bob have. So always Alice tries to maximize it A minus B and Bob tries to minimize it. It's not about how many marbles Alice has and how many marbles Bob has at the end. It's about that A minus B should be maximum for Alice and A minus B should be minimum for Bob. So that is their strategy. So based on that they used to play optimally. So what is the score that will be at the end of the game. So Alice goes first, right? So how do we do that? Let's understand the question with the help of an example as usual. So we have 4, 2, 1 here, 1, 2, 4 here. Initially, Alice have this set of marbles and Bob have this set of marbles. As I told earlier, colors represent the index, right? Alice have uh, color 1 marble of 4, 4 marbles of color 1 and Bob have 1 marble of color 1. Alice have 2 uh, marbles of color 2, Bob also has the same. 3 marbles, 1 marble of color 3 and 4 marbles of color 3. Now we got everything. When Alice takes a turn, what is the first thing I need to check? Alice should have at least one marble of that color. He can take anything. Let's assume that Alice takes uh, color 1 here. If he takes color 1, uh, he will remove one marble from here and he will remove all the marbles from Bob. So I choose color 1 in Alice's turn, one marble from color Alice and all marbles from Bob. So Bob is 0. So this one will write like this only. Now in Alice's turn we got this. Now let's go for the Bob's turn. In Bob's turn we can go for color 3. If we go for color 3 what happens? In Bob's turn this color will number of marbles gets reduced for 3 for Bob and for Alice everything will be removed. So the entire 1 will be removed. So it becomes 0. This one will write like this only. Now whose is the next turn? Alice's turn. So this is turn. This is also done. Alice cannot choose the third color because it is zero. Both of them should have at least one marble. So in color two, he is forced to choose this color two, right? Now, uh, because three also he can't choose because already Bob has it zero. So he can't choose. So two he takes. If he takes two, there he removes one marble here and he removes all the marbles of Bob. That is zero. Now three one zero for Alice have and zero zero three is what Bob have. We don't know whether it's optimal or not. We are just writing it. So 3 plus 1 is 4. That is A is 4 and B is how much? 3. So I take the subtraction. 1 is the answer. So we already got the optimal one. So as you see earlier, like 1 is the optimal one. So we are good. Now, let's say that 120, 120, 100, 15, 10, 20. So let's uh, think of something like a strategy here. Like so let's say that... Uh, in order to make A minus B maximum, let me assume that uh, the Bob's uh, the Bob's value should be minimum. Okay, this is my only strategy for now. So what do I do? Uh, as Alice starts first, I will try to remove the maximum number. So if he removes the maximum number, 100 becomes 0. 1 minus 1 is already 0. Okay, now let's go for the next round. Bob tries to minimize the maximum number of him. So 20 here also can come, 20 here also come. So let's say that Bob is reducing this value. So if he reduces this value, it is 0. And this becomes how much? This becomes 14. Okay. Now Alice turn. What does Alice do? Alice wants to 
choose any of these two numbers so i'll tell that alice let him choose uh, 20 here so this becomes 19 and uh, this becomes 0 okay now bob's turn he's forced to choose this so what does he do 1 becomes 0 and 10 becomes 9 now let's see the solution so alice will so the value will be 19 minus uh, 14 plus 9 how much is uh, 19 14 plus 9 is 23 so this is 23 this is 9 how much we got uh, 18 uh, so 19 minus 23 is 22 21 20 19 minus 4 but in the answer it is minus 9 how did they get minus 9 let's see so if this is the thing let's say that uh, alice took this one first if alice took this one first it will be 0 0 0 uh, 15 110 2015 110 and 2020 okay now let's go for bob's turn instead of choosing this we took bob's turn as this one right this 20 let's go for this 20 here if bob chooses this this 20 becomes 0 so i can directly write like this and this becomes 19 for bob because one marble gets reduced now let's choose that alice will choose this 15 here now so if alice chooses this one this will be 0 for bob and this will be 9 19 right now bob is forced to choose this only this pair so color 3 this becomes 0 and this becomes 9 now what happens let's say sum of all of a is 19 minus 9 plus 19 you just uh, split it okay 19 minus 9 minus 19 minus 19 plus 19 cut you get minus 9 so this is the optimal way they are telling as per the solution so uh, if we try to uh, remove a number that is having a more value we could not make a conclusion right like what is the optimal strategy that both of them should use either it should be like uh, in question they clearly told it's not about how many marbles uh, alice have or how many marbles b have at the end the a minus b should be maximum for alice and a minus b should be minimum for bob now let's go for this uh, maximum case what case this a minus b will be maximum so either the a value is extremely high and b value is extremely low so alice thinks that either i should retain the maximum marbles with me or b should lose maximum marbles so that is one thing so let's uh, take this example like one five hundred thousand and one this is the marble which one will alice choose will alice try to reduce the 500 if he chooses one uh, Bob loses 500 marbles, he loses only one marble or uh, Bob loses one marble and Alice retains triple nine, 999 marbles. So which one will he choose? So it's not about uh, how much I retain and how much he loses, right? The overall should be maximum. So even in this case, if one 500 is here and let's say uh, I have 200 and 300 here. Sorry, let's say 301 is here or I can make it like 305 or something. So if I choose this, what happens? I lose one, but Bob also loses 500. Okay, let's write it down. Bob loses 500. So this will be 0, 0, 200, 305. So Bob, next turn, Bob forcefully chooses this. So it happens like 304, this 200 becomes zero. So Bob is only winning in this case. The answer is 0 minus 304. It's extremely large. But Alice is starting first. So Alice has the ability to make this. Is there any number that is better than uh, minus 304? Let's find out. So instead of choosing this, let Alice choose this. If Alice choose this, what happens? See, 200 is here. So 200 becomes 199. This becomes how much? 0. Now Alice is forced to choose this one. If he forced to choose this one, 1 becomes 0 and 500 becomes how much? Bob is forced to choose this one, okay? 499. In this turn, Alice chose this set. So he got 199, 0. Bob chosen this set. He's forced to choose 1 and 500, Bob. So 1 becomes 0 and 499. So 199 minus 499. How much? 300. So which is bigger? 
one ninety nine minus four ninety nine is minus three hundred minus three not four. So Alice tries to maximize the sum, and Bob tries to minimize the sum. Both of them are playing, but since Alice is starting, he has the ability to maximize it. So minus three hundred is already better, right? That's all. So how am I defining the benefit? As I told earlier, A should be very much maximum, or B should be very much minimum. So if I am bringing out a strategy here. What do I do? One five hundred and two hundred three not five. If I retain this, how much am I preserving? So that's what is matters, right? So let's say I am not subtracting one at all. Let's keep two hundred only. Plus, if Alice chooses this, the benefit of Alice will be two hundred. He is retaining like one ninety nine. He is retaining plus three not five. His friend Bob lost. So even if he loses. It is advantage for him only, right? So three not five, okay? So you just put minus one, minus one everywhere. It's minus one only. So since minus one is constant, we don't consider about minus one. So we'll remove it. So the benefit or the advantage of Alice is I am retaining two hundred. I am retaining one ninety nine, and Bob is losing three not five. So the benefit is this one. Now in this case, how much? One. Plus five hundred, right? Minus one we can do later. So again, I'm telling not needed of this because it's constant. One plus five hundred means what happens? I can just say that uh, five hundred Bob is losing. One I am preserving. So that means overall I am having a sum of five hundred and one benefit, and this guy is having five hundred and five. Okay. So what will Alice choose? Alice will choose the benefit that is having five hundred and five. Now let's think of Bob's case. If many, if some other number came, like one, uh, ten, and eleven came, so let's choose that Alice already chosen this. Bob will choose this eleven, or Bob will choose this five hundred one. So you think like that. If Bob chooses also, he will choose the highest value only. Why? Because he preserves five hundred, and Alice loses one. So in that case also he is having a net benefit of five hundred and one. He won't choose this because Alice will come and destroy his five hundred. So that's how it happens. So what did I say? If I'm adding both of them, means I'm adding only the benefit. A should be large, B should be minimum. So if A is larger, I am assuming that, and if B go, there are only two possibilities, right? A will be preserved, B goes, or B is. Uh, Preserved and A goes. So what is the total benefit? Is it is total benefit lies to the individual player only. So what do I do? I take the sum of this five not five eleven and five hundred and one and sort this in the decrement decreasing order. Five not five, five not one, eleven. Now first player is Alice. So for Alice, I go for five hundred and five, and then for five hundred and five, I take the uh, sum of the Alice part. How much ever. Alice can win. I am marking the B part as zero. So in this case, uh, since five hundred and five is the maximum value I can get, I can make this as zero and I can make this as one ninety nine. Okay, so that's all. Now, this sum we are not adding subtraction because since it's constant, the subtraction also will be same, right? So I am just doing it. If five not one, now Bob will choose the next number. Alice Bob, Alice Bob like that. I already sorted it. Bob will choose the next number for Bob. I make the Alice guy as zero and this guy as four ninety nine. Okay, at last you take the sum of this, you take the sum of this, everything will be there. Let's take one more example. Like uh, what if it is ten, twenty, and if it is twenty and ten, both of them the sum is thirty, right? Which one will he choose? Optimally speaking, both of them will be same because uh, everyone will get one chance here. This is even number. So if I'm gaining ten and losing twenty. And if he chooses this, uh, so like let's say Alice chooses this part. If he chooses this part, it will be gaining ten, and he will definitely lose this twenty, right? He will lose this twenty. Okay, this is Alice part. Now Bob part. Bob part. If he chooses this, he gains twenty, but definitely he he might have lost this ten. So both of them is ideally the same, right? Any sum value you take. So this is twenty thirty, and instead of that, you can also take like uh, what is sum value that can come five and twenty five also we can take. So that also works. So let's say that Alice uh, Alice starts first. If Alice starts first, ten, 
and this guy will be zero the net profit only i took here so i just i'll just explain it so if these are the numbers 10 and this guy is zero now 5 becomes zero and this is 25 okay now 10 minus 25 is how much it is uh, minus 15 now let's say that alice took this guy if alice took this guy it will be 5 and this will be 0 then uh, this will be 20 and this will be uh, 0 now what is 5 minus 20 it is also minus 15 so if you just add uh, minus 1 here minus 1 here minus 1 here and also minus 1 here so you just have to do minus 2 for both of them so you got the overall idea right even though the sum is same there is no difference that is happening the only goal is what I am thinking in my mind is when I am playing a game, my A value should be maximum and B value should be minimum. That's when A minus B will be maximum. Bob will also think the same. Since he is on the other part, if he tries A minus B to be minimum, he also thinks that his B value should be maximum and A value should be minimum. That's all. So how do we code this? Let's try to see. So A, I am getting all of them. So probably we can take this example only 4, 2, 1, 1, 2, 4. 4 to 1, 1 to 4. So A is this and B is this. Now I am taking the benefit map. What did I say as benefit? 1 plus 4, that is 5. 2 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. I just sort it in the reverse order. I just keep uh, 5, 2 here and 4, 1 here and 5, 0 here. If I reverse it, it will be 5, 5, 4. So this is 2, 0 and this is 1. Now any index here. Now I take turns here. First, what will I do? A of benefit of i dot second. I go to the second index. I go to the uh, second index. This is 0, 1, 2. I go to the second index and subtract 1 from it for A. So this will become 0 and B becomes 0. Okay. Now goes to the first index. That is this guy. N turn plus plus. Turn will be an odd number again. It goes to B value. B value decreases. So B value decreases means this becomes 0. And uh, a value becomes what? A value also becomes 0. Now, I go for 4. 4 for Alice. This becomes uh, 1 here. And uh, you got the value as 1. So that's how you are able to get it. Even if you start from 4 also, you will be able to get that. So that's all guys so let me know in the comments so after that you just add what are all the numbers a have add what are all numbers b have and go to the submission you can just see the reference here so earlier you know like there are many different possibilities we can get one here so here we got like 3 1 minus 1 right but here as i told since the sum are same it doesn't make any difference so that's how we got this one here so see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye